Having logged in, we can reopen the SafeMove app. Since we are logged in as a user with the necessary grant, we see that the message prompting us to switch to another user has disappeared. Notice that the Enable Edit Mode button is now accessible. Here, we are met by a virtual representation of the robot in the real-life position. Since we are in read-only mode, we need to create a valid safety configuration. Therefore, we must enable Edit Mode. When enabling Edit Mode the first time, the user is asked to start with an empty configuration or to use the default template configuration, which we will use. Here we see that a safety configuration has been loaded. In a safety configuration, several elements are necessary to handle the safety of your applications. Each element has its own label, which can be enabled or disabled. In the left menu, we find all the elements that are part of our safety configuration. We start with the robot encapsulation elements. Here we see two blue robot encapsulations, Robot Capsule 1 and Robot Capsule 2. Now, let's have a look at Robot Capsule 1. Here, the user can set the name and modify the dimensions or radius of the capsule, as well as set the start and end positions in three dimensions. We can also remove the capsule if needed. You can of course do the same with the second capsule. Both capsules can be hidden for visibility reasons. Now, tool data is another important area to consider in our safety configuration. When defining a tool, an expert user can enter the weight of the tool being used. Then below rigid body tool position, the data for the center of gravity of the tool needs to be added. After we have defined a tool, we can create or modify the yellow tool encapsulation. The tool encapsulation is used to contain the tool that has been mounted on the robot. Here, the user can change the name, modify the dimensions as well as the start and end positions of the capsule to contain the full geometry of the tool.